Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we're going to do your end of September general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. For all of the new viewers, I am an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks. In doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for your reading. I also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well. It's so weird right now when I was just looking at the camera, I heard the phrase glitch. Like, okay, I heard there's a glitch in the matrix. Someone's favorite music artist could be Neo. You could have recently listened to Leo, Neo today. Also, somebody's last name could be Reeves. Um, the song that I heard when I was meditating over you guys' energy is Come Back to Me by Tiana Taylor. So I will leave the link to this song in the description box below following the reading so you can listen to it if you so choose to. Um, somebody's last name could also be Taylor or somebody's nickname could be Taylor. I mean, Nick, first, middle, or last name could be Taylor. I'm hearing it also. Um, this person wants a reconciliation with you, you know. This, I, what I'm picking up is that, if, and I say this, and I try to say it in the beginning of videos from messages I pick up, because a lot of people don't want to hear about um, reconciliations or anything like that. So I'm letting you know ahead of time so you can click off if you don't want to hear it, because this this is, is definitely an energy of somebody wanting reconciliation. Now, you guys know I always part the cards to change what's at the bottom, but I did get a quick glimpse when I set the cards down. Somebody definitely wants some type of reconciliation because some there was a separation, three of swords, okay? You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and a visual, or you can have these strong placements in your chart. Also, swords, we are currently in a sword season right now. We are in Libra season. So there could be a breakup coming during Libra season for someone, or someone could be thinking about separating from someone, okay? So let's part the deck change the cards at the bottom and as always there's absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks right now all the cards are completely upright so if we get any reversals i will read them as such so now at the bottom of your general energy deck you have the chariot cancer someone rising venus and the visuals um excuse me this is for a movement something happening quickly i feel like some change could come in quickly and it's interesting because at the very bottom of the deck we have the three of swords some type of separation could come in very quickly but Keep in mind with Major Arcana, that's stuff that the universe has aligned on your path. He's on the path. So it's, it, it's meant for the separation. If that's, you know, if that's going to happen, that's meant to happen. And also, ooh, okay. Remember the song I said, come back to me. Somebody wants you, somebody's on their way back to you or they want you to come back to them. So a lot of you guys can be dealing with cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, individual. As we part the deck, look at that. <laughs> Six of swords, that's four of And I just said swords earlier. So, you know, somebody's moving out of a situation from something that was heavy and dark into the light. You see how the clouds are behind this person moving towards the light. And I feel like a lot of you all felt like this. Look at this. And I can't make this up. You guys seen how part of the cards. Reconciliation. Major kind of judgment card. Reconciliation bringing something back to life. And look at that. Some of you guys felt all along like, you know, it was either. It, I feel like I'm getting energy that someone knew. Because right before this, we seen the Six of Swords. Someone knew it was time to move away. And remember, Swords, we are in a sword season right now. So I feel like somebody is feeling like, okay, now is the time. Somebody's meditated on it, thought about it heavily. Because she has her eyes closed. And if you really look at her face, she has like tattooed tears coming down her face. Somebody's prayed on it, meditated on it. And they're finding out during Libra season, I feel like um, somebody's going to separate or choose to move away completely. Like be done. Even, you know, cut off communication. And this is the card of Pisces, so some of you guys can be done with Pisces, some will rise in Venus individual. For your clarifying deck, yeah, this is somebody you have history with, Cups, okay? So you have the Pisces with the High Priestess, and then you have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and you have the Chariot, that's Cancer. So you, a lot of you all are definitely dealing with a water sign. And, you know, this person's going to come back in. Remember I said the song was come back to me. This person's going to come in bearing gifts. But somebody is still thinking about a possible third party. You got two people here and then you got a person walking off in the background. Okay. So somebody's possibly thinking about a third party in a situation where someone was allowed to infiltrate the relationship, cause conflict in the situation, in the relationship. Okay. As we part of the deck, yeah, this person, somebody's coming back. Okay. So Capricorn, this could be you. 
because you have the page of pentacles you could be younger than your love interest or your love interest could be younger than you you could also be dealing with another earth sign another capricorn towards virgo someone rising venus um also if you do accept this person's offer you may be coming back very slowly you could be coming back slowly but then if you're dealing with the other person they could be coming in very quickly you guys have a lot of airy info um cards because the knight of swords Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then the next card we have is the Justice card, Libra. And again, we are Libra season. I told you, I feel like during Libra season, something's going to go down. Look at the very last card. Some truths are coming in. The Moon card is about things unknown, things unseen, things that we don't have clarity about. This is also Major Arcana for Pisces and Cancer. We've had both of those so far. Major Arcana, okay? So there's going to be some truths about either this person or this person is going to find out some truths about you, okay? So let's see what we have for you today as we part of the deck. Woo! So you have the strength card, Major Arcana, and you have the chariot. For some of you guys, you're going to need to have the strength to move. You really need to summon. I'm hearing summon the strength to move away from this situation because you have a great deal of history with this individual, a lot of love for this individual, but it's going to take a lot of strength to either move away from this person or move forward with this person because she's literally facing the direction of the chariot. That's also Leo energy. Something could have happened during Leo season, I'm hearing. Hmm. This person has been watching you. Page of Swords, I Spy. Okay, that's somebody who's watching on social media or someone who is keeping tabs on you. I'm, I'm even hearing that this person may have went through your phone or you have, may have went through their phone. Something caused a roadblock, a lack of forward movement because the chariot card in reverse, someone decided I can't move forward because they found something out. That's what I'm picking up. Just seen a judgment card again. Yeah, somebody wants reconciliation. Ooh, look at this. It was at the bottom of the deck, okay? A lot of you guys are definitely dealing with an air sign. Or, you know, this major energy could play out during Libra season. Again, somebody found out some things that they didn't like. Sword up, that's yes. Sword down, that's no. Both ways, these swords are down. And it was heartbreaking. Whatever someone found out doing some snooping, they didn't like it. Didn't make them happy. Bottom of the deck, three of swords in reverse. Again, swords up, that's just swords down. There's no, somebody may, you know, you may hear a person out or this person love interest may hear you out. Because swords is also about communication and the mental. Somebody's going to try to reach out to you or you're going to try to reach out to someone. And I feel like with it coming up in reverse, they're going to hear you out. Because three of swords are right as heartbreak, sorrow, and grief. And reverse is coming out of that. Okay, look at that. Yeah. So you have the sun card. Again, Leo. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Also, the Sun card is the most positive card in the whole deck of tarot. Anytime the Sun comes up, it's a brand new day, a brand new start. Somebody definitely wants a brand new start. Brand new start with you or you want a brand new start with them. But there's going to be some conflict. Five of Swords. You guys got a lot of sword energy here. Somebody's walking away. There could have been an argument. But somebody wants to heal that because the Sun card is also about healing and rejuvenation, bringing something back to life also. Five of, yeah, five of cups in reverse. Look at that. Five of cups of right, the sadness, sorrow, grief, disparity, possibly attached to a third party situation while someone was in a relationship. Two of cups of right, that's a couple, okay? And you could have been in a relationship, and when you were in this relationship, somebody brought a third party into the mix. But it's coming up in reverse. So this person wants to come out of that. Either this person or you. Let's hold the deck down to get an additional message. Eight of Wands coming in quickly, fast moving communication. This person's coming in quickly. Again, strong, fiery energy. So if you're not dealing with someone who has strong fire sign placements, this person could be coming towards you during Sag season. Currently, we are Libra season. After Libra, we have Scorpio and then Sag. So three months from now, because again, we also have these three cups right here. Not so much three months, but three seasons. So astrological seasons from now, this person could be coming towards you. There's a definite energy of three. Because somebody could have moved away. And even though this person is moving away, you see these wands are heading in their direction. Like, mm -mm, I'm going to catch up to you. They don't want you to move away. Or you don't want them to move away. So let's get a clarify about the sun card. Yeah, somebody's coming back towards you. You had the chariot in the last deck, and now you have it again. Could definitely be a cancer with water. A cancer with air sign placements. Because this is source that's air, but they're also on a bank of water. So you could be dealing with a water sign with strong air sign placements. I see the clarifier for the sun card and the five of cups in reverse. Whew, look at that. Two major icons. We had this earlier also. 
High Priestess again, okay? So Pisces also, you could be dealing with someone first, middle, last, initial B, J, D, C. I'm also hearing G. And I know you don't see that there, but I'm telling you what I'm picking up intuitively. And then you have the chariot again. Someone knows that, again, when I say someone knows that it's time to move out of a relationship, they just know it's time to move on to something new. And then someone else knows what they need to do in order to get back in your good graces or vice versa. It's going to be you who feels like this. Bottom of the deck, nine of wands in reverse. So you coming out of conflict this month, towards the end of this month, I feel like someone, you may be coming out of conflict with this love interest. Or this person may not be holding back. But I feel like it's because we're already towards the end, you know. I feel like before this month is over, especially a fire sign could be coming back towards you with some type of communication. Let's get a clarifier for the sun card. Okay, yeah, fire sign. King of Wands. Okay, so you guys could definitely have a um, Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, specifically Leo, okay, trying to come back towards you. And this person wants a brand new star. Look at it. He's looking in the direction of the sun. You can have two children with this person also. Or this person can have a child with you and someone else. Keep in mind that came up, right? So, yeah. So, a lot of you all have a fire sign who wants to come back to you. Mm -hmm. Come back to me. I'm hearing the song. Yeah. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the seven of wands in reverse. Seven of wands of right is about blockages. Like, they could want you to unblock them on social media. Unblock them from your phone. Because I feel like there was a blockage. Okay, look at that. Magician in reverse, okay. And at the bottom of the deck, four of cups in reverse. Okay, Capricorn. So for your possible outcome, you have the five of cups in reverse. Coming out of sadness and sorrow about a situation, but it's still something that's not quite right about this. I don't feel like this person is 100% trustworthy. You may have found something out during um, Virgo season. We just left Virgo season because the magician is Virgo, also Gemini. So this person can have Gemini or Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements because we kept getting swords. That's that's Gemini, and but I feel like during Virgo season, I really feel like that's the case. During Virgo season, you found out some truths about this person. Like I feel like you don't feel like you could trust them. They were manipulative and sneaky. Mhm. Mm they were manipulative and sneaky. Is what I feel like you found out about this person, and I feel like also. This person is going to do whatever they feel necessary because the magician reverse is a con artist, a sneak, a grime, grimy. You know, this person may try to do whatever it is that they need to do in order to get you back. And I feel like they're going to try to play on your emotions because it's clarifying the five of cups. Cups is that's your emotions. So they're going to try to play on your emotions because I feel like they're manipulative. So they know how to do it. They study you well. The magician is well studied. That's how he knows about alchemy and magic and things like that because he studies. So I feel like this person studies you. And they know how to kind of, or they feel like they know how to get back in your good graces. Is what I'm picking up. Yeah, definitely could be a Leo. Strong air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus as well. Okay, so Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.